Get cat back. Hey guys, welcome back. It's uh, Tuesday, and um, we've been working on Yari's car a little bit more. I can't believe we're not on the dyno yet, but we're trying very hard to get there. We decided, instead of using a whole new exhaust system, just to go ahead and use the Skunk 2 exhaust that was under the car, because it has like a nice resonator in the center and a decent muffler at the end. So we think it'll sound good. It's, it's pretty big as well, two and three quarters inch. So I think it should be adequate for the, the smaller turbo that we have on here. But I've been welding a bunch of pieces to make everything fit nice, and I just got done, and it took me most of the day. So we're just going to fire it up really quick and see what it actually sounds like with the turbo and the full Skunk 2 cat back. Kind of crazy. That lets out so much air. Like if you put your hand under, it literally blows your hand off the. Yeah, it's like, like it's probably making two or three pounds, like just on those little revs. All right, so that's about all the time I got for tonight. But hopefully, if I don't have any interruptions tomorrow, I can put this thing on the dyno and start getting the tune sorted out. You can tell it doesn't run great. It doesn't start great yet. Uh, the tune's pretty far off, but we'll get it. Um, I have one other thought about how we're going to do this whole tuning situation. This is Yari's first turbo build, so there's a lot of you out there that maybe are turboing a car for the first time or, or are going to, you know, in the near future, and you read a lot of things online, and everybody, like, has this, like, magical number in their head, like, oh my goodness, I'm going to turbo my car and make 400 horsepower, 600 horsepower, 800 horsepower. But you really like have no concept of what that actually means for your particular car. So I thought it would be kind of funny if we tune this car and I'll tell you guys what it makes, but I'm not going to tell him what it makes and I'm going to let him drive it and see if he can guess and how close he is to the number. Because I don't think he's going to be close at all. Mm -hmm. I think I will be. So I think it would be pretty fun to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and tune the car when he's not around and uh, we'll just get his impressions when he drives it around. Oh, thanks. Brought me some more gas. I can vacate the premises now. I've been scoring. I've been scoring. I've been scoring. Good. All right, now it's time for me to kick Yari out of here. All right, don't come back. Don't blow my motor up. No peeking out the horsepower. <laughs> Bro, please. It's like my super strength is not blowing things up. Okay. I had to dish the cup, yeah. Now I got those water bottles in. I had some real dark days. Now these are looking real positive. Once you appear part ways, I don't need no parts of friends. Okay, well, I didn't exactly get like the first pull made all the way because the spark plugs were just horrible. A lot of times when I start a tune, I'll just use the plugs that are in it because we're dialing in usually a big injector and you don't want to like foul out the new plugs super quick. So in this case, I left those in and started running it. We got to like maybe two PSI and they started like not working. So <laughs> I'm going to gap a set of plugs down real quick and switch them out. Um, something gapped a little bit more appropriately, so... quite a few pulls and I uh, got this thing pretty straightened out. I think we're about as close as we're gonna get to uh, the peak for the amount of boost that we're running, which ended up being about nine pounds. We were thinking the wastegate was seven pounds, but um, I'm saying nine on the data logger. So I'm very consistent, just like exactly nine, which I love that. So um, I'm gonna show you guys the horsepower right now and then you guys <laughs> will know, but you already won't know yet. So this would be pretty funny. All right, 
I can't say it out loud. Hold on, my camera's all janky. Made just like a little bit more than this on a colder pole. And there's our torque number. Okay, you guys got it? Torque number, horsepower number. Now we can't say anything about it and we're just gonna go drive around and see what he says. This ought to be pretty freaking interesting. All right, we're gonna drive slow for a minute. Let this thing warm up a little bit and then we'll get some first reactions to boost. This is gonna be pretty good. Do you guys think he's gonna guess it? I think I will. He thinks he's gonna guess it. I don't think he's gonna guess it at all. It never gets old. No, not at all. <laughs> Uh, Yari's having this issue where sometimes his idle air control valve has like a, a hiccup and it just stops working So we might have to replace it or clean it or figure that out But we're gonna go ahead and put gas in it for the first time since we've actually owned it other than those cans the other day uh, And then we're gonna take like a proper a Proper, uh, you know what you say? Nice boost, Proper bridge. boost test. Yes I'm Trying to find like a road where we can actually get a little speed without being uh, over the speed limit, you know? Sixty. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting close, but that's not it. Higher or less? I'm, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not telling I'll you. Get that colder. I need you to just drive, and then you just give me one clear, concise answer, and then we'll let you know. Are we gonna have to turn it down? Uh, no. Oh, shit, no, it's it's good. I really, really like the level it's at right now. <clears throat> Here's the thing. Like I was telling him earlier, I think where we ended up on the horsepower and torque number and the boost, uh, it's, it's, like a, it's like right on that border. I mean, we could probably go up like a hair more, but you get to a point where the acceleration and the amount of power you can put down to the tire without spinning really hard and the reliability uh, like because it's a stock motor and all these things they kind of converge around a certain number and uh, We're we're just a little bit under that number right now like a, a safe nice amount under that number And um, I wanted to be able to drive around and enjoy the boost and just get that feeling every day when he gets off work Just get in his car and just like ah, Just feel the boost. It's nice. So if I can keep the car together for quite a while Get him used to it and used to driving it um He'll start to understand the car a little better, and then we can turn it up and uh, give him a little bit more when he gets used to it. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's so great. Super never gets old. Never. <laughs> like, never, never, never. Never, gets never old. gets old. You'll always have a big smile on your face driving a boosted car. Always. <sighs> oh, this is so good. Oh my goodness. You guys ever want to go for like a drive you've been waiting for for a really long time and then you get stuck between like the longest train you've ever seen? What is this? What is this? That's why I never go this way. We're gonna be here for freaking ever. Look at how long that thing is! Oh my gosh! Yari's laughing because he, he stabbed the throttle just a little bit and it goes right into anti-lag. And he can't believe how actually easy that is. Oh man, I want to do it again. I almost gave the gospel a little call on this. We, we are, uh, we're looking kind of rowdy in these streets. Um, watch, just blip the throttle so they can see. Yeah, it's like, what, 2,500 RPM? Not even, like, a little bit over 3,000, so a little bit over 3,000, 2,500. Yeah, I have it set up to where the TPS has to just be over 35%, and it will basically go into anti-lag when, oh you're, my God, when you're under three miles an hour. So, um, yeah, I had it, it was worse when I first had it set up, it was 15% throttle, so I would go to blip the throttle and be like, blah, 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 and go, like, right into anti-lag. 
So I moved it up a little bit, but I wasn't expecting you to find it quite so soon, but <laughs> you, you already kind of found it, so. Oh, nice, the train is finally gone. Yay, goodbye train. Goodbye. Bro, this car's gonna get me in so much trouble. I hope not. I hope not too. I, I hope God, it doesn't yeah. really get you in too much trouble for real. But. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but. Third gear felt pretty good though. That was all the same like percentage of throttle. It might just be my driving. <laughs> Goodness, it's bright out here. Um, so we didn't get a chance to ask Yari like what kind of horsepower he thought his car had made, so we'll get onto that right now. What do you guys think of this cool new beanie? Everybody gonna want one now. I think it's pretty dope. Anyway, our Nizda company finally has a uh, a few products on the website, and um, that beanie is one of them. All right, guys. So yesterday's drive was pretty fun. We're probably gonna take it back out right now and get a little bit uh, of this nice cold air that we got out here this morning. Uh, we'll probably take you along with us, but. Uh, really quick, I was going to show you, I'm pretty excited because we finally got a few things up on the website uh, for NISDA. We got some cool beanies, um, got some shirts, I'll have to open this and show you. Yari, show me the hat, show me the hat. We got some stickers, but I think you only get these if you order one of our battery trays or our regular products. But um, I, de I designed his a little bit different because uh, he really likes dark blue and I just picked some fun colors to go with it. but. I thought that was a pretty cool look. We'll probably do some other styles or colors and stuff, but anyway, we finally have some uh, some Nizda merch. Um, it's nizdaautosport.com is the website, just in case you're wondering. I feel like I'm advertising my own stuff, but I think we are going to do some gearhead stuff coming up really, really soon, so I'll let you know when we do that. <clears throat> We're just still kind of in the uh, design phase for what I want our first uh, our shirt to look like, basically, so... And don't worry, we're not going to become one of those channels that just sells merch. We just happen to like, I just mostly, it's the beginning of the year, these shirts are looking kind of old. I, you know, I welded them every day and I thought, you know, it's time to like revamp this a little bit and then make some for myself. And I thought, well, while I'm at it, I'll throw a few up on the website. So they might be kind of limited. Anyway, uh, we, uh, we had a little bit of an exhaust leak yesterday towards the end of our drive and it was like rush hour traffic so we didn't really get a chance to like get a full pull but we're gonna take this sucker out right now and uh we're just gonna get the full feel and then he's finally gonna tell us i mean this has been a long video he's finally gonna tell us what he thinks of his horsepower i've been scoring cheap does bore me blah blah you bore me caution morning i've been scoring i've been scoring i've been scoring caution Okay, so the, basically the way it works, you can rev it to any RPM that you want, like wherever you think you want to launch, just go slowly like under 30% throttle up to say like 4,000 and then stab it quickly and that will engage the anti-lag. Alright, you try it. Bro, that's rowdy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that's so funny. Let me hear it from the back. Probably gonna break this speaker. Bro, it's like bright as heck out here and I can still see balls of flame. Really? Like flame, 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 flame. Why you gotta be flexing on us with this big old truck, huh? <laughs> oh shit, that's dope. Um, so we were talking about how we're a little embarrassed because we haven't actually washed the car yet. We might run over and just get a car wash. <laughs> it's just, it's just so embarrassing. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check. No drip, this wet. Tell him run it up. No sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first die, stretch. Tell him run it up. I wake up. No sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first I stretch. Tell them run it. Not out of ten, roll through my hands. I'm by my lonely. Turn to a savage. Now my baby wants to hold me. 
I love my fans, don't need no friends, I got my homies Thought I could trust you, I find out you tried to zone me I'm number one up on that court, I'm Nick McGrady The first one in, the last one out Okay, what do you think? That was a, that was a pretty good full pull. My guess has gone up. Your guess has gone My up. Final guess, 375, somewhere around there. All right, when we go back to the shop, we'll actually tell him what it makes. <laughs> okay, so this guy was wrong by about uh, like 50 horsepower. Mm -hmm. The actual number was uh, 328, I believe was our highest that we saw. And uh, that was a real conservative number because I, I, you know, I kept it nice and safe. I think the most important thing is that it's, it's drivable. It's so drivable. Every gear is drivable. I definitely need tires. Probably need a clutch eventually, but I'm so happy. It's so fast. Yes. But to my point, uh, people always think they need like 400 horsepower right off rip. But first and second gear, at his horsepower level, level right now, at 330 more or less, is already almost unusable. So if he floors it all the way in first or second gear, we have no traction. Mm -hmm. um, maybe some of that will go away with better tires. But not all of it, for sure. It's just a little bit too much torque. Okay, enough of the RSX. I was gonna tell you guys, everybody that waited to the end of this long video, <laughs> um, any of you that have uh, been following my channel, maybe you started following along when we did the 370Z a while back, um, we have an announcement coming next video. Um, I've been waiting and planning almost seven months for this. Um, we have a new car coming to the channel. Uh, that is just here for testing and all kinds of stuff. Um, I'm hoping to like go through many different things uh, for all you Nissan guys. So you'll just have to wait and see. But it should be here next week on the next video. So stay tuned and see what we ended up getting.